the day I made this beat, I had this sample, this vocal sample. For me, it was just a catchy melody and I really love the tone of Julian Michaels' voice. I don't know, I think it was just something that spoke to me, I guess, and I thought that it would be cool to just flip it and make a track around it. The sample actually comes from a song I did with Julia Michaels like three years ago. The sample was from the bridge section and I really loved the melody and I always planned on using it in a track or a beat. The sample is so memorable, like the vocal sample. You didn't really need too much. I'm a big believer in like leaving space in the track and uh, keeping things simple. So it was just a simple bass line is really what I was, was going for. I got that from a simp called Silent. I think it just worked really well with the vocal and it turned what was a ballad into something you could play in a club. It just gave it more rhythm. So after the bass line, I added like a high synth, just like a pluck noise. Uh, you know, the bass gave it a lot of low end and I wanted to make sure there was some sort of like high frequency in there. So what came next was the chopped vocals. The original sample, I wanted to chop it up in the verses, so it wasn't the same thing all the way through. So this is the chopped vocals. After the chopped vocal, I added the same bass line for the verse, but I've just switched the sound to a slightly more aggressive bass sound. I just wanted to make sure there was some sort of switch up between the two basses. It's exactly the same bass line, but it adds a bit more bite to the track. I used a sound called Bass Aiden in Silent for the verse bass. And for the chorus bass, I used a bass sound called Walkabout. So after the second bass, I just added like a basic snap. It just made sense to add the snap. It just fit the, the overall vibe of the track. So once I had all that, I wanted to move on to the drums. The percussion loop was from like a random pack that I found. I thought it sounded pretty cool, so I added it to the track. And then we have the kick. I think after adding everything else, that was the one thing it was missing. I think it gave the track a bit more bounce. I didn't want to go crazy on the drums. I wanted there to be a lot of space. I was quite like content with how the track sounded at this point. So this is what it all sounds like together. The beat sounds like a relaxed, chill vibe. Maybe it's like in the summer, you're chilling with your friends or you're like cruising in a car. It's just like a very chill, laid back kind of vibe. Me and Murder linked up and he came down to my studio. We worked on a few ideas. I was playing him a few things. I didn't actually mean to play him this, so I actually played it by mistake and he heard it and then said, what was that? And so I pulled it up and then he added his percussion and his, his hats and stuff and his kick. I really liked it. I liked what he was doing. It sounded cool. We kept it very simple. Nine months later, I got a text from him saying we were on the Migos album. I know this might sound weird to say, 
I was just excited just to hear Migos on it. It was kind of different for them. It was kind of like they were going down a different road. So I was kind of happy that it was a track that I was a part of. As a producer, it's not always about showcasing every single skill that you have. Sometimes it's about scaling back and letting the artist do what they want to do over the track. So that's what I tried to do with this. I be rapping gang gang.